is the cast killer, Jessica McCaskill, one of the best fighters in the world today who fights out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA. Delphine Pursuit. This Belgian has really been turning heads since she burst onto the professional scene. Look at this. These fights are so up for it. Look at that. And now we toss it up to the world-renowned ring announcer, Mr. Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. Hiding out of the red corner... From Chicago, Illinois, here is a women's two-weight division world champion and an undisputed women's welterweight champion of the world, Jessica McCaskill. Fighting out of the blue corner, fighting out of Belgium, and ranked as one of the best female lightweight boxers in Ring Magazine, here is a women's lightweight champion of the world, Delphine Pursuit. What a pleasure to be in this unique environment. Every seat has been taken for tonight's match. Todd is one of my favorite venues. You can't get a better place to fight. I say you must obey. Good luck. High hopes for this battle between these two athletes. they defending coming back to life now starting to land some punches we welcome you to this beautiful theater Shakespeare has nothing on the drama that we've seen between these two fighters. We expect a standing ovation when these two are done. God, I've got to give it to the promoter to pick this place. Every ticket is like gold dust. You cannot get these tickets. So if you are in this venue, you are watching this fight, trust me, we're lucky to be sat here. Nice exchanges from both women in this round. That uppercut got her. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. Good counter left hand there. Score again with the left hand. Good left hand. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. What do we expect to see here in round two? She's coming off a fantastic last round. Let's see what she's going to do here. Defense is not an option for these two. Nice counter shot. She blocks the uppercut. Good one. Neither one of them want this to go to the judges' scorecards. Nice counter shot. At some point, the referee's going to have no option but to penalize you. Sometimes style makes fight, but this one, the stars just seem to be clashing. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. 
very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dares do anything out of turn. This has been a very competitive round between these two. No rest for the weary. The counter lands. The winner of this surely will get a world title shot. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. That was almost a 10 8 round. Com we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? She's coming off a fantastic last round. Let's see what she's going to do here. Left counter scores. They are not going to let this one go to the judges. Good left counter that lands. Hand lands. Another scoring shot there. It's like a game of joust. They both got their swords. They're slinging it. Good counter punching from both these fighters. Nice exchanges from both women in this round. Someone's will will cave, but which fighter will it be? Good right hand. Just misses with that uppercut. Punch scores. This is not good strategy. Those punches are doing nothing. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Talk about a one... Going round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? She's coming off a fantastic last round. Let's see what she's going to do here. Nice counter punch. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Spider has not shown us much defense at all. That left shot lands. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. the halfway point of this round and both of these fighters have had their moments still could go either way that left scores this round could go either way 10 seconds to go no 
it's no secret. Who Here we go in round five. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off that great round, let's see if they can build on momentum here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Can't score with that right uppercut. both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you've been hit and you know you're... Oh, we rarely see McCaskill hurt, but she is now. How are they still standing? Nice exchanges from both women in this round. It's like a game of joust. They both got their swords. They're slinging it. You'd like to see someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. Find a home for that jab. It's knockout or bust for both of these fighters. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. On to the sixth round. She's coming off a fantastic last round. Let's see what she's going to do here. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've got in the ring with fighters like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. That left uppercut doesn't score. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I gotta respect both of them more than happy. Left punch. a scoring blow she just wobbled Delphine Pursue we came here for a fight and we've got a hugging Delphine Pursue is down Not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. And there's the bell for round seven. She got dropped in the last round. Let's see how she does here. Great counter right hand there. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. What you've got to do, Toddy, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope you're never going to know where the shots are coming from. you just got to put in the guess. <laughs> so 
so close with that uppercut. Got out of the way that right hook. And score with that left hand. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. A very close match. It shows the skill. Delphine pursued on her back foot. She's been in wars before. She knows what to do, but can she do it? Nice work, but she couldn't finish the job. And that is Delphine Pursued gonna go down here. And down goes Pursued. Like she's going to survive the round, but just barely. She looks like she's going to do it. Can you believe? You've got to wonder how big of a factor that knockdown's going to be. We just. And we enter the eighth round. Got to get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? What's a heavy knockdown? How are they going to come back from that? They've staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast around. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got to hope, you've got to hope they run out of steam. She throws the jab, but it doesn't score. That punch landed. Left counter was perfectly timed. You couldn't write a script like this. This is like Rocky versus Apollo. What this fighter realizes that defense is one of the scoring criteria in boxing. Beautiful counter punch. So much for boxing. This is a fist fight. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. All three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. And we enter the night. She's coming off a fantastic last round. Let's see what she's going to do here. We hear that old phrase second win. You've got to find it somehow. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per run. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Timing beats speed, speed beats power. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. 
Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. Oh, we rarely see McCaskill hurt, but she is now. The true champion knows how to get out of trouble after they got into trouble, and that's what he's doing here. what the judges' scorecards read. There are no losers in this one. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty... And here comes the 10th round. She's coming off a fantastic last round. Let's see what she's going to do here. left lands. That's another scoring shot. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. Through the left uppercut, but it misses. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. We're at the halfway point of this round, and both of these fighters have had their moments. Still could go either way. Punches, they should be playing defense right now. Good punch. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Double Delphine pursuit. No surprise there. A unanimous decision. They've done it before. Now they're doing it again. And look what's happened. A unanimous decision. What a way. What tactics. What a game plan.